Hi all, this is Abhay Mahajan and I welcome you all to this amazing series called In More Question of the Day. So this is the question for you for today's uh, uh, class. Let x, y, z is greater than 0 such that 1 upon x plus 1 upon y plus 1 upon z is less than 1 upon x, y, z. Show that 2x upon root of 1 plus x square plus 2y upon root of 1 plus y square plus 2z upon root of 1 plus z square is less than 3. So, we will this question ko na hum multiple approach. Ke karenge, right? So, so, those of you who are uh, viewing this video, you can pause because I am going to give you some hint. Right? So, if you want to do this question without hint, isvi time pe pause kar do because in the moment, I am going to give you a hint in which way you can solve kar sakte So, hint number one. So, hint number one would be Hint number one will be AM, GM. AM, GM, you can apply. So it is given that X, Y, and Z are positive. So ho sakta hai, ho sakta hai, kai na kai AM, GM lagane ki zut padhe. Also, root ki andar chiza di hui hai. So root ki andar agar chiza hai, di hui hai, iska matlab ye GM ka part hai. So agar AM banana hai, to root hut sakta hai. To agar root hut jayega, ho sakta hai, ki bhoat easily answer mil jaye. So this is the first hint for the first approach. Uh, for the second approach, the hint is, uh, I am very sure ki bhoat sare logo ne already guess kar liya hoga. The hint is trigonometry. The hint is trigonometry. So we'll be solving this question using these two approaches. Theek hai? Do alag alag solutions hai iske. So first solution would involve AMGM. The second would involve trigonometry. Trigonometry se I am very sure bhoat sare bachon ne kar liya hoga ki 1 upon x plus 1 upon y plus 1 upon z is 1 upon x, y, z hai. Agar equal to hota, so 1 upon x ko hum taane le sakte the. But equal to nahi hai, so there has to be some modification which has to be applied. So this is the second hint. Try and, and do this question uh, with these two hints. Try to do uh, in, in with both the methods. But agar x se bhi ho jata hai, then we are good, right? So you can pause this video here and you can use uh, one of these two hints to apply and solve the question. All right, so let us uh, start this question and let us start the solution. So approach one, approach one, AMGM, AMGM. So let us see what is given to us. So 1 upon x plus 1 upon y plus 1 upon z is less than x, y, z, uh, 1 upon x, y, z. So if we multiply the entire equation by x, y, z, we get x, y plus y, z plus z, x is less than 1. So this is what we have. This is what we have, right? So we, we can we make use of this thing as well. So if we pick uh, any one of these three expressions, so if we pick the first one, say 2x upon root of 1 plus x square. So how can I make use of this very result? Now, so 1 hai, yahan par 1 ko replace kar sakte hai. We know that 1 upon root of 1, uh, 1 plus x square hai and 1 jo hai, wo isse bada hai. So can I say this expression will be definitely less than 2x upon root of 1 ke jaga, I can pick this value. So, xy plus yz plus zx plus x square plus x square. So, 1 ke jaga, we can make use of this expression. Now, can I, can I simplify the denominator? So, if I take y common, I will be left with x plus z, x common, x plus z again. So, this is equal to 2x upon root of x plus z into x plus y. So this is something we get after simplification. Now, since root hai, root mujhe pasand nahi hai, root mujhe pata hai gm se aata hai. So kya mein iska aisa am ka expression li sakta so that uska gm ye bane? Yes. So what I can do is, if I, if I pick a value, expression x upon x plus z, and do the expression x upon x plus y. So can I say in dono ka arithmetic mean, will be greater than or equal to in ka geometric mean. So this will be greater than or equal to 2 times root of this into this. So x or x to root se bahar aajayega. And this will be root of root of x plus z into x plus y. Right. 2x upon root of x plus z into x plus y. So this is what we get. Right. So can I say, can I say this expression 2x upon root of x plus z x plus y is definitely less than x upon x plus z plus 
plus x upon x plus y. And we are done. So we have proved that 2x upon root of 1 plus x square is less than x upon x plus z plus x upon x plus y. And likewise, likewise, I can do the same for the second expression. 2y upon root of 1 plus y square is definitely less than y upon y plus z plus y upon y plus x. And likewise, I can do this for the third expression. So 2z upon root of 1 plus z square is less than z upon z plus x plus z upon z plus y. And if I add all the three up, if I add all the three up, so what is there on the right hand side? So can I say I can combine this term with this term? And these two will give me one. Likewise, x upon x plus y plus y upon x plus y will give me one. And likewise, these two terms will give me one. So 1 added 3 times gives me 3, which is there on the right hand side. So this was the first approach. I hope you've all understood this approach. So this is a very simple approach, uh, right? So we've just simplified what was given to us. Use that in inequality, simplified the inequality, applied AMGM, and, and there we are uh, with the solution. So this was solution number 1. Now, let us see how can we do this using trigonometry. How can we use this using uh, do this using trigonometry. So let us look at the second approach, which is called the trigonometric approach, because we have identified this. And we know that, we know that in a triangle, tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into tan C. So if A plus B plus C is pi, tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into tan C. This is one of the most important identities we can use in, in a triangle. And we can see something like that. Something like that. So if we, if we assume 1 upon x as tan A, tan B, tan C, uh, it is not equal to. So we, we need to somehow, somehow put equal to sign here. Somehow put equal to sign here. So if we take, so let us, let us remove the reciprocals uh, first of all, because that is uh, something which is troubling me. So 1 upon x. Let's say I put this as r, 1 upon y, let's say this is s, and 1 upon z, let's say this is t. So what we have on the left hand side, so we have r plus s plus t is less than r into s into t. Right. Now, if there was an equal to sign, I could put r as tan a and s as tan b and t as tan c, but it is not equal to. So let us try to put equality. So let us try to introduce another variable called say alpha, where r plus s plus t is equal to say alpha square r into s into t, where alpha is less than 1, where alpha is less than 1. Now, many of you will be thinking ki, why have we introduced alpha square and not alpha, right? So had we put alpha, then also this would be good, right? But alpha square ka ek particular reason hai. Wo reason kya hai? Now, if we multiply both the sides by alpha again. So we get alpha r plus alpha s plus alpha t. This will be alpha cube. And one alpha goes with r, s and t each. So it will be alpha r into alpha s into alpha t. And there we have. And there we have this trigonometric expression where we can put this as tan a. And alpha s as tan b. And alpha t as tan c is tan A into tan B into tan C. Right. So this was the reason I put alpha square here because it doesn't make, uh, really make any difference, right? But but it helps us in, in converting alpha R into tan A and alpha S into tan B and alpha T into tan C. Now, let us see what we have uh, on the left hand side. So if we put, pick 2x upon root of 1 plus x square, or, or let us try to substitute x and y and z in terms of r, s, t. So x is 1 upon r, right? So x is 1 upon r. And y is 1 upon s. And z is 1 upon t. So if I put x as 1 upon r, so r gets cancelled out. So left hand side becomes 2 upon root of 1 plus r square plus 2 upon root of 1 plus s square plus 2 upon root of 1 plus t square. 
Now, I, since I need to put anything, everything in terms of tan A and tan B and tan C because it will help uh, simplify my expression, but tan A is actually alpha R, but we have R here. So can I say, since alpha is less than 1, so this expression is less than root of 1 plus alpha R whole square 2 upon root of 1 plus alpha S whole square plus 2 upon root of 1 plus alpha T whole square alpha t whole square, right? Now I can substitute alpha r as tan a, alpha s as tan b and alpha t as tan c. So 1 upon tan square a, so 2 upon root of 1 plus tan square a. So 1 plus tan square a is secant square a. Uh, under root, is uh, it becomes secant a and this will be 2 times cos a plus cos b plus cos c. And this gives us the result because we know that in any triangle, and, and this is a triangle because tan A plus tan B plus tan C is tan A into tan B into tan C, this happens in triangle. So that means A plus B plus C is pi or 180 degrees. And we know that in a triangle cos A plus cos B plus cos C, the maximum value of this is 3 by 2. So this is less than 2 into 3 by 2. Of course, it happens in equilateral triangle, so this is 3. And we get the result. Also. Also, we can we can prove this using uh, uh, this uh, very inequality. So cos A plus cos B plus cos C upon 3 is less than cos of A plus B plus C upon 3. So this is something which is which is very common inequality. And this is pi. So cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2. And this gives our result 3 by 2. Right. So this is uh, the other solution using uh, trigonometry. I hope and I hope. I wish uh, I've explained this in the best possible way and you've all understood this. Keep learning. Enjoy.